Hey y'all. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Hi, hi, hello, hello. Come on in, come on in y'all. Come. <laughs> Yo, hold on, I gotta get my... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got back, back. I had to grab something real fast. Okay. <sighs> Y'all know you live in Baltimore, Dirt Bike City. Hey, um, how you all so late? This is about to be probably a long one. So, get your popcorn, get your whatever, because it's going to be, this might be a long one, y'all. All right, so. First thing I'm going to talk about is um, me noticing these uh, patterns that I've been in dirt bike photo. I'm moving next year. I'm, I'm manifesting. I'm moving next year. Okay, so we're a little bit more quieter. But so around this around this uh, Libra Scorpio season, I have been noticing. Um, well, I, I since I went sober, I was able to access some things that had me. Um, I guess a, another dark night of the soul. You want to call it? I have been through several <laughs> dark night of the soul um, since I've started this journey but during this dark night of the soul okay i'm gonna start with that before i get get to this when you are an empath going through dark nights of the soul is extremely 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 hard <laughs> because it gets amplified um, and I saw somebody on the comments saying protect your energy. You can protect your energy all you want. Like, I got crystal grids all over my place. Like, I got selenite at my door. I use sage, okay? I do all of that. But sometimes when you need to go through a dark night of the soul, it don't matter what, what protection you got, you're going to go through it. Like, you're going to have to go through it. And so, if you're an empath, which means that you take on energy um, easily, you pick up people's energy easily. I can be watching something, pick it up to pick up the energy of whatever's going on. I don't like my hands are cold, and it's causing me to uh, to shake. Um. Yeah, so you just take on energy very easily. And sometimes you could catch it and you can control it. And um, sometimes it triggers stuff within you that you need to go within and heal. So, during this um, this journey, I'm going through this dark night of the soul. I'm going through it during Scorpio season. Um, Pluto is in Scorpio. Um, it's a lot of Scorpio transit going on right now. I'm not 100% sure because I don't have no charts and stuff in front of me to tell y'all the exact of the exact of the exact of what's going on in the, in the, in the, uh, the quote-unquote sky, um, the planets or whatever, which is basically within you. But, you know, um, mine's be real rough. And then I was sober, so my emotions really, like, really amped up. Like, these energies was, like, I had got into such a low, like, I go into very low spaces when I have to go through my dark night of the soul and I'm sober, like, <laughs> yo, it was, I'm gonna be honest, okay, because that's what my channel was about, because I may, I'm exposing myself, um, those energies when you're already in a low uh, space mentally those energies get on you okay it's all about how you come about the energy but y'all i had got like so low like i was really thinking about like checking myself in 
Um, because it just became like a lot, like a big. I, I just being the irritable around my kids, uh, not having patience, uh, and on top of processing all of these emotions, doing it while not smoking, and then having to deal with my kids, <sighs> my fucking temper was very, 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 very low. And so, when you somebody like me, who's just, you know, you, you're a powerful being sent here to do some things and um, activate some things and some people, those entities be waiting. <laughs> I feel like they be waiting, like, the lower and lower and lower your energy get, they just be sitting here, like, whoop, they be hovering. And so they were starting to get the best of me. They were starting to get the best of me. You know what I'm saying? And then I got people, if you believe in this, it is what it is. If you don't, you need to do some research. But I got people out here that's watching my content that's casting spells. Like, whether they know they doing it. You could just speak bad about somebody and you can be casting a spell. So I got people out here doing that too. They tampering with my energy. They casting spells or hiring people to cast spells on me and my channel. Um, glamour spells. That's why I keep having things messing with my eyes. Somebody is really talking bad about me. Or they casting, they hired somebody, a practitioner. Like when I pull some cards. Because I'm going to start doing that too. I'm getting prompted to do that. So for y'all who's interested and um, tarot, I'm probably going to focus more on, like, past life and, like, chakra energy because I'm able to tap into that good. Um, you know what I mean? Leave me a comment below. I might start doing some lives. And, um, yeah. So, anyway, um, I'm already getting low. I'm already in these low, these low energies. But it's forcing me to process and get out emotions like so when i'm sober the the do you know the, all of that come back you know what i'm saying because it uh i know the science of it okay I, I know the science of what marijuana do and what happens when you you're not smoking so i already know all that's going on and then i got people cast those family members that i cut off that i don't talk to doing some shit, you feel me, and I know, I listen, I know you're fucking doing it, okay, I know you're fucking doing it, it's coming to me in my dreams, I'm pulling cards on it, when I pull them cards, the fucking, um, uh, practitioner card came out, somebody doing shit to me, you feel me, so I already know who it is, but I'm not gonna do nothing, cause I'm not that type of person, you feel me, I'm not, I'm trying not to be that type of person, you feel me? Because it's things that I know that I can tap into, but I ain't tapping into that. I'm just going to let my ancestors deal with it. I'm just going to let them deal with it. It's not for me because what happens when you start casting and doing that negative energy, low vibrational shit, you don't know how that's coming back to your kids or none of that. It could skip a generation. Your kids, kids could be going through some bullshit. So keep on doing it. You got kids out here, bruh. Y'all bitches be out here. Y'all have fucking children. Some of us is your fucking mother out here doing this shit to you. Talking bad about you and shit. Bitch, I don't owe you nothing. I owe you nothing. You was the vessel I, you, that I came through. That's it. Because you was in a high vibration to, for me to come through that vessel at the time. That's it. You ain't fucking raise me. You ain't do shit. Nothing. And the little shit that you did do, you want to fucking congratulations? Like, somehow mothers be really out here tripping. Bitch out here, probably, I know my mother is a, is a, I know, we've had talks, I know she, she, she is, she got gifts. I don't know if she know what she's doing when you thinking bad about somebody or you sitting there gossiping and talking shit about motherfuckers, what, what you doing. But you was just a vessel. That's it. A lot of us just came through these vessels just so we can be here, so we can be the people that we supposed to be. That's it. 
No attachment. That's why you gave up your attachments. We have no attachments. So on top of all of that, I got people out here casting spells and pulling cards and telling me, did you forget I pulled cards? Did you forget that I'm tapped into that shit come to me in my fucking dreams, bitch? So anyway, going through the dark night of the soul, being depressed as fuck, um, and then there's death energy floating around. My neighbor that lived exactly right there just passed away. And then two doors down, somebody else passed away. It's 444 on the clock while I'm saying it. Two doors down, so, so the death energy is around, okay? So I'm dealing with all of that, trying to process all of that, and the bitch got down. Okay, I wanted to check myself in. You understand? I was just like, you already know I'm, I, I, I'll be talking that I hate Earth shit, I, it, because you you come here to go through so much, and according to some of the research I have done on myself, I'm about to get into that after I came out of that energy. Um, I'm learning how powerful I am. How many generations, how how many lifetimes I have been here doing this shit. Like the power that's with them, the soul that took over this vessel is fucking powerful. It's all in my hands. I looked up palm stuff. It's all in the my life is all in my hands. The life that I've lived, I've been here many times doing what I'm doing now. Healing people. I did some fucked up shit because I got a sign here saying that my powers, I bonded my powers for a reason. And so this lifetime, I'm here to wake them up. So y'all out there doing that negative shit to me, I'm going to let the ancestors handle it. I ain't going to do nothing, I promise you. I won't do nothing because I know the consequences from that. Because I've done it in my past. I bounded my powers. So that dark night of the soul was real rough. But I do talk to a therapist because I, I understand that that helps. So I do it because it helps. And then I have my sister. My ride or die. Talking to me. Getting me straight. Helping me out. They my soul family right now. Like my therapist is spiritual. So she, I can talk to her about things I'm seeing and the spiritual side of things. And I manifested it. I really did. Like I, I just spoke it into the universe. I think I was having a conversation with my sister. And I was like, you know, I ain't really been wanting no therapist. But I'm going to go ahead and talk to one because hopefully um, I can get me one that's that's spiritual. So that when I'm talking, I don't I can feel free to express what I'm seeing and people can't see. And she won't be talking about you crazy. <laughs> so my therapist is the bomb. She understands every single thing I say, what I, I mean, everything. So I'm blessed. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, oh, I'm blessed. That's one of them um, guys I be listening to. I told y'all. This one is, uh, damn it, I'm on my phone. I might put it in the comments. But, yeah, that's the one of the, I have an affirmation uh, playlist. I, I use Amazon for my music. And I have just a play miss, play, play miss, play, playlist for affirmations. So, I listen to it. Not every day. I'm not about to sit up here and lie. I don't, but sometimes when I take a meditation bath or um, I might put my Amazon music on shuffle or something and it'll start playing stuff that's in my playlist and so that stuff will come in. So, But um, Chris and Teb, I think that's what their name is. Chris, C-H-R-I-S and Teb, T-E-B. Yeah, but they, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. That's what just came to me. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Oh, I'm blessed. Like, yeah, so I'm not even, I don't have to do nothing. Because I got a whole spiritual team fighting for me right now. Fighting for me to be the best of the best of the best because I'm blessed. You understand? So, after going through that, yo, I broke my sobriety. <laughs> 
<laughs> I had hit a fucking blank, y'all. And when I hit that blank, all of this sh shit just start rushing to me. I started getting prompted to see things and read things and shit start coming to me in my dream. And one of the things I was prompted to do was to finish one of my books, which is my poetry book. Check, finish that. You see, when I, 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 I always have to go through these purging sessions because I have to purge. I have a video about purging. You can go watch that. But when I'm forced to go on the dark night of the soul, I start purging out some of these. I had to purge out some more feelings. It was still some attachments that were still within me. It was still causing me to get angry. So I, <laughs> I just had to get it out. And me completing that book actually helped me get it out. So I did that. So once I completed that, I got an idea. I don't know if this happened before or after I hit the blank. No, it happened before. I was watching something brought me up out my spirit. I turned to... Damn it, y'all. I was, I was watching some some one I can't remember. I was watching something, and it was it was during the same day that I was kind of completing my dark night of the soul. Like I was kind of at the end of it, and um, I watched it had me fucking dying laughing. It had me dying. I was dying laughing the whole time. Like I needed this, and then I started watching something else to give me some inspiration. Um something about the divine feminine then i hit the blunt and that's when all of that shit came to me it was the same day i talked to my therapist because she was like what you want to do like i was talking to her about checking myself in and she was like you i think you know what you need to do i think you know what you need to do y'all i pulled cards before i broke my sobriety okay <laughs> i fucking yes i fucking pulled cards <laughs> <laughs> because I this I mean, ooh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm a whole bitch. Like some the 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 people who say me sober, they know. <laughs> <laughs> so I pull cards on this shit, y'all, and I know energies can affect this and that and blah blah blah. But I, I understood. I got both sides of it when I pulled my card. You understand what I'm saying? So it, it, basically it was about uh, having control and um, sacrificing. And um, then it turned to better health and abundance. And so I got both sides of it. And I pretty much understood that I basically had to balance out my intake. I was smoking entirely too goddamn much. <laughs> Spending entirely too much goddamn money. And so I, 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 I broke, when I broke the sobriety, went through that shit. So what happened was after I finished the poetry book, I went to go look. Because I have a bag <laughs> of pictures from like a little bit before high school, maybe middle school, late elementary, middle school. And I carry that bag <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> when I move, I don't care about nothing else as long as I have that bag of memories. And in that bag of memories, I keep journals and stuff. So I found something prompted me to go to find this journal. So I went and found it. You can see it has 2013 on there. And the first date is July 6, 2013. And I was happy. I happened to be seeing a therapist at that time. I told y'all in one of my earlier videos that I've been in and out of therapy. So, trying to, you know, for this trauma. You know what I mean? This childhood trauma, adult trauma, nigga trauma. Nigga trauma. That shit, yo. I, I was doing some research, y'all. I came across something that said you got... Uh, CPTSD from relationships and shit from dealing with uh, narcissistic men and women because women can be narcissists too we're not going to do this yet no. y'all just saying that uh, LGBTQ lady I know y'all been, been saying that in the blog so anyway 
this is my diary, basically. Because my therapist, that's the first sentence, is my therapist uh, suggested that I start writing, you know, my thoughts or whatever. So, it, I'm going to actually put this into a book, y'all. This needs to be in a book. Like, I was reading, I'm not even finished reading, like, this is, it's half of the, half of the pages is, like, this is the rest of the pages that's left. Like, it's more than filled up. Like, it's all filled up. And I was reading some excerpts to my sister, and she was like, if you put that in the book, I would read it. So, this is getting put in the book, y'all. I'm talking about guys I was fucking. Only the ones that really left the marks is the ones who made it. So, y'all don't get too, y'all niggas watching, don't get too excited, because all y'all ain't make it. <laughs> all y'all ain't make it. Only the ones who was fucking good, and the ones that I loved. And that wasn't many. So, yeah. But yeah, this is this is something that I've been working on since 2013. Okay, I also talk about my disdain for men. Talking about the shit that I'm talking about now in my videos is stuff that I was talking about back in 2013. I actually wrote it down. So this is something that this was a path that I was always meant to be on. See? I got receipts. So motherfuckers talk about motherfuckers talk about this ain't they real shit and, and, and whatever else them bitches that be watching my videos be saying about me but they don't be saying my name. Yeah, I guess <laughs> this is receipts. <laughs> okay. I've been on this. Twenty thirteen. At least documented. You uh Facebook I've been talking shit about men. Since I've been on Facebook. I think I got on Facebook in 2010, 2009, 2010, around that time. And I, I, I lost a lot of friends because of the, the the stuff that I was saying about niggas ain't shit and all of that. I lost a lot of <laughs> followers, friends. They don't, they, they didn't never like my, my content. But yeah, I talk about the, the schools I've been to, what I was doing. And it goes up until 2015. It stops. And I know why it stopped in 2015, actually, at this time. Because Yeah, I was messing with the white boy, so <laughs> they need to write him a diary then and he's not in here. Um and I think I deleted all his pictures off of Facebook too, so because I know some of y'all gonna go try look. He was cute. He was cute. He was cute, white boy. He had ginger hair. I like the ginger hair right here with the beard. You know what I'm saying? He had all that. He was cute. He might he might come across one of my videos. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say your name. But you know what I'm talking about. Because niggas be married and all types of shit. Like, I'm not using none of your names. Okay? So, y'all ain't got to be worried. This ain't about to be a fucking uh, Corinne Stephens type of situation. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Some of y'all got families, some of y'all got wives and children, and I wouldn't dare do something. So, that's just not my character. I'm not going to speak nothing on nobody who exposed people and all of that stuff. That's just not me, okay? I'm changing names and everything. So, y'all men who watching that I fucked or that I loved, that's going to be in my book. I'm changing your name, okay? I will give you that respect. So, yeah. I think I'm going to record another video because this one getting a little long. I did say this was going to be long, but my longer videos don't get that much views. So, let's just keep it real. Let's just keep it real. Let's just keep it real. Y'all don't be watching my shit that long. So, <laughs> I'm going to record another video and be talking about um, this spiritual. I actually wrote it down. Um... What I received, my download, I literally received a dream download today about changing uh, my content a little bit, shaking it up a little bit. So I'm going to come back and talk about that. Plus, YouTube takes forever to upload longer videos. Y'all know that too. So, um, I don't even know what to call this. Yeah, I, I, it's going to be something. But yeah, so I'm back smoking. I'm just, I just lowered my intake. Um... And, oh, real quick, before I go, 
That's something else I noticed in this book too, y'all, that I wrote. I have been doing this, taking this smoke break uh, since 2013. And it always happens in between uh, Libra and Scorpio season. So that's in here too. I, I'm literally been replaying. And I was, this is, what is 2021? Eight years. My life path is eight. So this is all something that... I'm supposed to be coming into like self-discovery. That's how I'm taking it. Um, it had me looking at my birth chart a bit more. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to get into that in the next video. But I, I said that in this one because I was supposed to tell y'all that like I've noticed that I've been going through this. I'm going to get sober and then I get this flush that I'm flushing out um, emotions. I'm letting go. I'm releasing. Then I go back to smoking again. And then I get all of these revelations, downloads. So, yeah. All right, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all in the next video because I'm about to record it when I hit stop on this one.